In America, where much of the land is covered in colossal cityscapes, the places touched by the least hands continue to be the most beautiful. And Disney World, because come on, it's the most magical place on Earth. But to be serious for a second, I truly love the American frontier and the sheer beauty of it, of it that surrounds us Americans each and every day. And no scene of the frontier is complete without bison. See, I tried. It, it looks good, but, but complete? No, no, I'm gonna need some bison up in here. Kabloosh. Okay, so bison have a beautiful link with the American people. Touching back to pre-European times, bison were hunted, but never domesticated, simply, come, simply because bison are like health from hell, and could never be domesticated by anyone, not even fancy schmancy Europeans. But American Indians were hunted them at a minimum, and all parts of the bison were used, and the bison population thrived, while still being the primary food source for multiple tribes. But then as you do... <laughs> showed up, fought a war, brought Louisiana, and headed west. They killed buffalo for a few reasons. Food was one, obviously. They also killed bison for their skulls, which could be ground up into fertilizer. It's kind of creepy, but you know, to each his own. Some people also ordered troops to kill bison to starve Indians, which isn't very nice or smart, since Native Americans had other food sources and all, but yeah. Bison were devastated by the coming of Europeans and haven't recovered since. They are still used in food in small amounts, don't worry. But the days of killing bison to starve Indians is finally over. Also, we have poop fertilizer now, so no one, no one need to ground up bison skulls, guys. <laughs> but Jacob, I want the video to end on a good note, or I'm unsubscribing and leaving a dislike! Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Well, shut up and sit back in your seat, because you're in for a doozy, because since bison were killed by the millions, people started feeling bad for them, because they're adorable little cows from hell, and who doesn't love hell cows? Bison are still easily found in Yellowstone National Park and Custer State Park, which is cool, because Yellowstone is cool, even though its name sounds like an item used to evolve Pokemon. Like, come on, you can name a park anything, it has a freaking awesome geyser and volcano that, if active, could cover the entire continent of North American ash and create another mass extinction event. You could have named it Apocalypse Park, or Jurassic Park, or Danny DeVito Park, but you chose to name it Yellowstone. Five bucks, there isn't even a Yellowstone in Yellowstone. Bison are also on the special prints of nickels called, wait for it, Buffalo Nickels. Buffalo are from Africa. This is a buffalo. This is a bison. There is a difference. Just ask my uncle. He'll give you a very long discussion about how bison are not, in fact, buffalo. Seriously, the U.S. government misclassified its own national mammal. This makes me sad beyond belief, by the way. Also, the bison is on the, on the Wyoming flag, but no one likes Wyoming because they have no rest stops by it. 